Overnight, we have received another update for the Top Thrill Dragster 2024 project. So in this video, we're going to go over everything new about the ride that we learned over the last day. So what exactly is new that would warrant me to make an entire video? Well, overnight, this giant sign appeared right near the ride saying, Racing, join the team 2024. And of course, here is the logo that many people have been speculating about. So the first thing this tells us is the ride is still going to have a racing theme and that is a good thing for most people. It kind of pays homage to the original Top Thrill Dragster and who knows what kind of effects they will add. The number one thing that is currently being discussed about this project is the logo. Why does it look the way it does? The logo to me looks like a mirror image of itself. I think this could somehow symbolize the fact that the ride is going to get a spike. Now some of your more outlandish theories about the logo are that the ride is going to get two top hats. They see the logo and say okay it looks like there are two top hats meaning that it's possibly going to have one in the front and one in the back. Well I hate to break it to you but I don't think this is going to happen at all. That is very unlikely. If you look at the supports that are currently laid out Unless they add more, there is no way. The support signal spike and two top hats would almost be outlandish, especially for Zamperla. Now normally I would never include such an outlandish rumor in one of my videos, however it has surprisingly been gaining a lot of traction in the coaster community. Some people swear that the ride is going to have two top hats. Now like I mentioned earlier, I really do not think that is the case, and I think they're just saying it for the views. Now we are going to go into something that is a little bit more technical. That is the question of is the ride going to have an airtime hill on the launch? If you look at a coaster like Pantheon, you'll see that the launch track is actually an airtime hill, at least part of it. And a lot of people were speculating that that is what the ride was going to have. If you take a detailed look at the track pieces that the park currently has on site, you will notice something. You will notice that they don't have any pieces that look like an airtime hill. All they have right now are just straight pieces. So could we be getting an airtime hill somewhere on the ride? Well, I don't know, maybe one into the spike, but right now it's not looking too likely. And the final thing I want to touch on in this video is the fact that many people are becoming more comfortable about Zamperla reimagining this ride. In the beginning, there was so much hostility about Zamperla reimagining it, but now it looked like that has died down significantly. So that is just my mini update on this ride. I am very excited to keep tracking the project of it and I cannot wait to get out and ride it when it's finally completed. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will make sure to keep all of you posted about everything happening with Top Thrill Dragster. This is The Coaster Josh, signing out.